Hi guys, so I'm really doing well at 200 uh, millimeters per second speeds. Um, I mean, look at those, look at those speeds on TV, and I'm printing nearly flawless. And I'm printing actually multiple objects, and I was actually having some trouble with stringing. But now, all the stringing is gone. I'm using retraction uh, of 0.4 millimeters. That seems to have solved the problem, along with my uh, the the uh, ball bearing spool. You see how just there's no absolutely no uh, restriction of the TPU filament. It just it just it just allows the printer to print as fast as possible. Um, so I'm actually getting the exact same speeds I would print uh, with PET G, uh, 200 uh, millimeters per second. Exact same speed settings I'm using uh, with my uh, PET G. The only thing I've slowed down a little bit is the parameters. I've set around uh, 150, but my infills, which is the most important, is going out 200 with 4K XL. Of course, it might not actually re reach those speeds, but I mean, this by God. This is like way faster uh, than any of my other speeds. Um, so I'm really proud that I was able to achieve this. Um, so also vol volumetric uh, rate is set the same as PET G. Um, now it will depend on what you print, but mostly what I print uh, is pretty simple stuff. If you're uh, printing complex, uh, more complex structures, you, you may have to go slower. But I mean, it's it's working flawless for me. So uh, let me go ahead and show you the settings real quick. Now, um, let me go ahead and reset this to my TPU settings here. So this is exact settings uh, settings I use. Uh, perimeters 150, small perimeters, small perimeters. I got it slowed down a little bit. Uh, infill at 200, first layer at 40. Uh, perimeter acceleration 1500, 3000. I tried increasing a little bit, but I didn't really, you know, I, I, I keep it a little safe because my whole point isn't trying to print fast as possible, but fast as possible without losing quality. So these are the settings for infill. Uh, for extrude of, of the most important, um, oops, this is not fetchy. It should be this one here. Uh, these are my settings. These, this is settings uh, straight off Villa Flex 40 and I modify the volumetric. The only thing I modified is uh, volumetric speed from 2.5 to 8. All right now, if you want to do this again, you're going to need ball bearing spool holder because you try this on a stock spool holder. Um, you're going to get clogging at around even 5. But the spool holder definitely made the change and I was able to go fast. Um, I did try also 10 and you're going to get clogging. So 8 is pretty much maximum safe Number I found, uh, just standard settings off Filiflex 40. Oh, extrusion multiplier. Um, yeah, that's actually default 1.1, 1 .1, all right? So printer settings, uh, extruder, there's traction. Um, it's everything stuck except I've uh, set it to 0 0.4 or 0 0.4. I found that works the best. Uh, 0.8 seems to cause some clogging. So 0.2 seems stringy, and then 0.4 with just three spot. This is for 98, 95A uh, TPU. Um, so working out really good. I'm gonna have that video up on uh, on thingies first, the modified version of the ball bearing spool holder. I made this even thicker than the other day. I made this way thick, it's way more stable. Um, so you should be able to support uh, one kilo. That's one kilo there. You can, uh, I made it so you can support three kilos or even five kilos, but it's it's super sturdy. Um, you can see it's just printing out perfect. And that's printing way faster than stock, and the ball bearing spool is absolutely uh, the key, I think, because it, there's no restriction uh, in the filament there. You see that? Because it's it's just there's absolutely no restriction. And I think this may actually help with uh, other filaments too. You should be able to go faster. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going, it's, it's printing pretty fast. Uh, we'll watch here doing the infill at 200. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fast for TPU. Um, printing flawless. Look at the, look at, look at the infills. Look at that. 
look how flawless that is. I'm actually printing another one of the ball ball bearing uh, a spool for this particular guy now. I have one more to uh, set up. And I'm actually printing all the parts now in one go. Uh, in Petri, I prefer Petri. Um, I like I like the shininess of it. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Subscribe uh, for more awesome Perusa stuff. Bye.